Looking for some more beginner footwork options? Then search no more. Because in this video, I'm sharing three not so common footwork variations for beginners. What's up guys, this is your boy Coach Sambo. You give me five on the push-ups. <laughs> So yeah, welcome to my YouTube channel where you can find tons of tutorials and break related content, all based on knowledge that I've picked up after 15 years of coaching, having my students win battles all over the world. And today, I wanna welcome you to China, where I spend most of my days training and coaching the Chinese national breaking team, you know, for the Olympics. You might've heard breaking is in the 2024 Olympics. Now, before checking out these footwork variations that I'm about to share with you guys, make sure you check out this video. Because in this video, I share very important rules and details when it comes to learning and executing footwork. And one thing is really important when you're executing footwork, that's that form. So make sure you don't skip. So the first one is the front shuffle. And the front shuffle reminds me a little bit of the Russian step. Easy to learn and easy to execute on the music. So let's start in the squat position and let's place our left hand on the floor, slightly leaning towards our left side. All we have to do is execute a Russian step with our legs stretching out slightly to the right. That gives you that good looking form and angle while executing the front shuffle. Now during the front shuffle, you always have one hand free. So make sure you use that hand in a smart and efficient way to clean up and give you that fresh form. Now after doing a few front shuffles on your left hand, you obviously wanna switch over to your right hand. And same thing on this side. When placing your right hand on the floor, we wanna stretch our legs out slightly to the left. And the cool thing you can do with the front shuffle is travel over the floor. Move from left to right, front to back, and so on and so on. The next footwork is the bicycle pump. And I don't see a lot of people execute the bicycle pump. But again, it's a really easy one to learn and also very easy to execute on the music. Because obviously when you're breaking, you want to stay connected to the music. So let's start in a squat position. Stretch one leg out as if we would do a Zulu spin. And if you never learned the Zulu spin, then make sure you check out this video on Zulu spin. At this point, we're then going to execute half a Zulu spin and place our foot on the floor. And when executing this to the music, it happens on the counts one, two. So we have rotate, one, place foot on the floor, Two. And now we have our bicycle pumps, which happens on the three and four. Now let's do spin in the opposite direction until again, we place that foot on the floor on the opposite side. And when executing this to the music, you would execute it to the count five, six. So we have rotate on five, place the foot on the floor on six. And then again, three bicycle pumps, seven and eight. So here we go from the top. We start in the zoo spin position. We have one, two, three and four four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, obviously, when you're doing it to break beats, it's gonna go a little faster. So relax, don't worry, don't panic. Practice it slow. I'm sure you're gonna pick it up really fast. Now, just make sure when executing the bicycle pump that you add that flavor, that you add that style. Make sure your movement is sharp. Use your shoulders. You know, the more character you bring into the move, the doper it's gonna look, unless you execute it like a clown. So good luck with that one. Last footwork I'm sharing with you guys is the back CC. So for this one, we're gonna start with the legs to the back. Also used a lot as a starting position for the six step. What we're then gonna do is basically execute the first step of the six step. Then have the opposite knee connect under your calf, creating this cool footwork shape known as a back CC. From here, you just wanna rewind the steps and return to your starting position and then execute the same thing on the opposite side. So you have step one of the six step and then hooking the legs in, creating again this back CC. Once you understand these two steps and the rewind, you then wanna execute this in a continuous flowing motion and preferably also to the music, which basically looks like this. And one and two and three and four four and five and six and seven and eight. Because obviously when executing your footwork to the beat, it just looks so much better as you're using the music to amplify your moves and your shapes and your forms. Also, when you start to master the back CC, you might want to give it a go and, and try to execute the CC position with one hand. And like I said previously in a lot of other videos, if one hand is not on the floor, that's a great opportunity to fix up a few details and make that form look exquisite. So yeah, definitely try that out. And if you want to learn more footwork like this, so make sure you check out my YouTube channel because I have tons and tons of different videos for you guys. Also, if you just started out with breaking and you're taking this really seriously, then I recommend you to check out my beginner's masterclass that you can find on my website. Basically everything I teach my own students the first two years, all squeezed into one sweet masterclass. All info is in the description down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you actually have a YouTube account. And never forget, at the end of the day, when you think about it, it's just all about that b-boy Peace.